Lizzie's trying to save my marriage. I just thought maybe don't start beef while he's still asleep. You know what? I think if I was ever going to start beef, it would be in this moment right now with him off camera. And you... That is infuriating. Well, do you want to tell them what happened? I am rage filled. And had I just worn headphones... I would have known. It was hard to tell because you're so loud next to me. But it was like at some point I was like, that's not. At some point in my life. Do you want to tell them what happened and why you're rage filled? I will. But I just also want to acknowledge one day I'm going to realize that you can hear me without me screaming. I'm I always, will never. I'm always at a level no, 400. You and I are always going to be screaming. I was walking the dogs this morning with my friend Katie. And I was. she was talking about how yesterday like one person was getting kind of nuts at the wedding. And she's like, well, I guess I'll just be calm right now. And I was like, no, you got to match that crazy bitch. That's why I love Ryland. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes watch my vlogs back and I'm like, oh, you don't have to be st- yelling. You're yelling. <laughs> and you're just by yourself screaming. It's okay, brother. Um, but no, we recorded Spencer's dating show over the weekend. And they used a different sort of mic. So the number one mic was all messed up. I don't know if you're going to get to hear any of what had just happened. And it was great work, by the way. I could hear it. I mean... I'll, you're I'll, you're distant, but you're here you're if, like a ghost. If you didn't, if you didn't hear it at the beginning of this episode because it was too bad, I'm gonna put it at the end of the episode so you can just see it there. See it <laughs> if you want to bear through the bad production quality. But you know what I want to say? What? What's up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of the Sip Podcast. Hello, hello. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by Lizzie Gordon. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. How are we all doing? Is everyone super sleepy? Super derailed. Where were we when we stopped? I think you were talking about how hot I am. Oh, (laughs) super hot. Oh, yeah. I was saying, because your husband was not in attendance at the wedding you were at last night. He was not. You needed to be careful, or Joe needed to be careful, because (laughs) I think a man was going to swoop you and that unborn child right up. I don't know if people's, well, maybe traffickers, but I don't think at a wedding like a family wedding i think People that's are the perfect, pregnant bitches i think that's the perfect place to find a match i honestly do and now of course this thing's gonna just fall the entire podcast i ended up telling the bride i was gonna bring you oh this is the wedding <laughs> this is that wedding and you should be so pissed you didn't come that shit was so lit thanks a lot to your this was a massive jewish persian wedding And I have never experienced such joy and celebration. It was so fucking incredible. Both of the cultures, like all all of the cultures that came together were so dope. Like the vibes were immaculate. Everybody was on the dance floor. Nanas and papas were on the dance floor. (laughs) Tiny little grandmas were elbowing me and like sticking hands in my butt to get deeper into the dance floor. Oh, so strangers can touch your butt, but I can't. She was a tiny old woman. I didn't love it, but I didn't know what to do and I was scared. What's funny about Lizzie is she wants me to touch her belly and her baby, but anyone touches your butt and game over. Yeah, it's my butt. I would think like your belly. I don't know. I would well, feel very he has, uncomfortable. Yeah, we have. You have a boundary, which is you'll only do belly button and up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is fine. <laughs> I'm fine if I grab a titty. I don't know lower. <laughs> like if I'm getting to the pubis mon. The mons pubis. Yeah, yeah. Too far. Too far. Too far. I wouldn't take you there. So your homophobic friend. Whoa. <laughs> the face of homophobia. Whoa. We might as well call her to come back and go head to Chick fil A with us. <laughs> so, my friend Katie was going to come on the show, and then Ryland said, No. Well, she uninvited me to the wedding she was here for. You were never going to come. I- you don't know that? I do know and that. Also, every time Lizzie said a wedding, she goes, I'm right by your house. Come on over. I was right by your house. Literally always 45 minutes from my house. She thinks <laughs> anywhere in the valley that is further west from her house is next to my house. Yeah, I do. That's not how it works. Oh, are you sure? I was in Westlake on Saturday. Okay. That's by your house. I passed Why your were house. You in Westlake? For the rehearsal dinner. Wow. It was a Sunday wedding. Is your full-time wedding gig over? Until June, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I have another wedding in June. I'm not good. Honestly, I felt so bad for Katie. So my friend Kate, who... Homophobia. She doesn't have homophobia. <laughs> you told me yes. You confirmed. No, I was. we were... Jo- that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> (laughs) 
<laughs> and then I said, is she coming to this podcast? Does she dare show her face after she uninvited me to this wedding? And Lizzie said, no. She changed her flight. She just had to go home. She has work. Okay. Yeah. Fine. She has a job, like all of us. <laughs> like all this working girls. Okay, so what happened at this wedding? Um, I felt so bad. My friend Kate was like, "Are you guys having fun?" I was like, "Kate, I'm miserable. <laughs> this is my third wedding in a row. It's fucking pouring rain. I'm sick of being cold and damp and informal wear that doesn't fit. Even though I ordered it two sizes too big at the time, and now it's too small. The dress I rented from Rent the Runway, I put it on. It was like fully lifted, like <laughs> squeezing so tight on my ribs. I was like, this isn't the move." I cannot wear this. So I ended up just wearing a dress I've had for two years for it's free beautiful. and paid for this other dress. That bump is getting so big. Her husband's clothes don't even fit her, which was demoralizing. Oh. I was at home last weekend and Joe goes, I just want you to be comfortable here. Put on a pair of my shorts. They're tight. <laughs> and Joe's like a big man. Like Joe's like a man. Drag him. No, he's like a man. Like Joe's like a man. Like I don't know how to explain it in another way, but like you've seen him in person. He's a big guy. Yeah. So when that happened, I was like, Oh, <laughs> um these are tight on you too right and he goes he even kept trying to say like yeah no they're tight on me too and then i saw him wearing them the next day and they're not <laughs> they're not tight on him too that's a lie he lied to me but i think it was a nice lie um so then i went out i got a new bra which actually feels good i got these pants which feel good but i feel like i can't keep them buttoned for much longer are those maternity pants no they're just stretchy yeah you're like the celebrity girls. <laughs> well, you won't dress in a maternity section because it's trash. I just can't find a maternity section, and I I bought some maternity clothes online, and they came in the mail, and I fucking hate them. Like they fall off my butt. Like I bought one because I didn't want to have like um something on my tummy just because it doesn't feel good. So I got low rise guys, and they just drip off my ass. I went on a hike in them and had to put a hair tie around them to hold them up. And it's without it, me or with me? No, with James. Oh, the other. Oh, mm -hmm. he's probably listening right now. Hi, James. No, he doesn't listen. Yeah, he does. Oh, gay James. Yeah. Not straight James. Not straight James. He does not listen. I would be very perplexed if he's sitting and painting dogs to us talking right? about nothing. Okay, well, maybe now he will because of the drop last week, but oh. we won't go into that. <laughs> now I feel like we have to. No, we literally can't. Oh, we should probably cut this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, write that down. <laughs> I promised I wouldn't do this because it's crazy. Um, Where did you guys go hiking? Fryman. Boring. I think. Can I just do poke? I have a booger in my no, house? No, but it's hair. Okay. Well, do you want me to just poke it up in? We'll lift it up. Want me to just poke it up in? I think you need a professional. <laughs> You're gonna pick my nose. No, I'm pushing your hair and your nose up. Oh, ah. I could throw up. Oh, it's good now though. Hey. Only a good friend would do that. Where were we? <laughs> I had a horrible weekend. I'm so sorry. For no reason. Oh. For no reason. Did you just choose to? It just never ended. Like, I felt like it was one of those weekends where there were things back to back to back to back to back, and the weather fucking sucked. And I just thought, why? <laughs> the weather did suck. I felt so bad for the bride. When I got to the wedding, she was on display in the area where we all were because it was the only tented place for them to take pictures. And she was like, eh. and I was like, you're beautiful. But I thought it was part of their traditions that I just didn't know. And it's like, no, they just had nowhere else to take pictures. Oh. Sad. So tell me how your weekend was bad. It just I never caught up on anything. Oh. So then this morning the sun came out and I thought, wow, a new day, a new life. I thought I can get everything done. I came out here. I was power cleaning the shed as if I was licking it with my tongue. It looks good. I thought I, I noticed sick of this good trash. For you. It had not been cleaned in years. And I thought <laughs> we need an overhaul. We did. And it turns out I'm not the mask man. I thought I was the mask man. Yeah mask like masculine mask seeking mask. Uh, mass mask mask <laughs> she's it, never been gay before is Coming it mass the or gayest mask? woman i know mask m-a-s-c musk seeking mask musk, musk. <laughs> but you know Musculing. me like super gay yeah but also tries his best and a little homophobic <laughs> yeah how does it feel now <laughs> Shots fired, motherfucker. You come for Katie, I come for you. I love the gays, and I will not be going to Chick-fil-A later. We're going to Chick-fil-A later. <laughs> I haven't dropped that bomb to Chris yet. We're going to Chick-fil-A later, Chris. No! 
<laughs> you can opt out if you want, or we could see if Lizzie would be willing to pivot and try the Costco menu. I mean, I do love the Costco menu. So it's up to you. I think we should do both eventually. If you're happy to, the thing for me is if Lizzie is willing and happy to go try something, I'm going to be there. You know, I do love the Costco menu. Okay. Well, I think they have cookies now, which are new. We could plan the Chick-fil-A episode for a week. Chris isn't here. Okay. But I did think we could call them on the way there and say, hey, are you guys still donating to homophobic causes? (laughs) Just asking. Wouldn't you be curious to call their main telephone line and just ask? Yes, actually. One of my uh, neighbor kids that I grew up next to who is gay worked in a high up position at Chick-fil-A. I wonder if I should just call him. We should call him. But also, let's get back to why you're not mask. Oh, Because all that rain, my Wi-Fi, my internet was down all weekend. That was another big bummer. Yeah. Yeah. You have no data on your phone? I mean, do you have cell phone service at my house? No, I don't. You're right. So this place is trash. My doorbell went out. My gate bell. I noticed. So, uh, I know. I couldn't get in today. In fact, I'm still on the road. <laughs> and so the whole section over in the west side has gone down. Those three cameras and my gate thing. And so I'm texting the security guy and I think, hey, this isn't working. Is there anything I could do from here to help? And he goes, oh, uh, right. Blah, 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 blah. Do all these things. So I'm doing all these things in the house. It isn't working. He goes, oh, it must be in the security shed. I have a shed out there that is rat infested. Oh, it no. is disgusting. Oh, that gives a me few the years heaps. ago, I made it over. I put wood floors we in there. We all saw the video. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> She's a real fan. I think I was part of the reveal. Oh. You just showed it to me. So it's just part of your core memories. Yeah. It was beautiful. It now houses the golf cart that doesn't work anymore. And some rats. I'm a flop. And so I thought, you're a brave woman. You can do this. And I go in there. And I am looking at all my Christmas decor that is tightly sealed in the bins because I was afraid that the Mm -hmm. rats would get in that poop on top of all of those bins. And I'm like, you can do this. And it's all the way at the back to reset. Yeah. I'm walking in there. I have Riley as backup. Mm -hmm. And I look down and there's a fucking rat on the floor. (gasps) Alive? I thought he was alive. Oh, and then I start The fact screaming. that you just touched my ankle a little bit is <laughs> I start screaming criminal. and stomping and he's not moving. Like, ah, he's dead. And I run my ass back. And then I give myself a masculine pep talk. talk and I say, Ryland, you can do this. You can do hard things. You can get back there for the sake of your gate. And I take my ass in there. I walk back in there. Rat's gone. I'm reaching. No, the rat's still there. And I'm not going to move the rat. So I'm just tiptoeing by it. I p- unplug it and plug it back in. Wait five minutes. It's still not working. So oh, I this is literally the that. first Jurassic Park movie, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> plug it in, plug it out. They're tiptoe in. Velociraptors are there. Those are the rats. Oh my gosh! Maybe Steven Spielberg wrote it based upon his own life experience, similar to what just happened to me this morning. Steven Spielberg, you're a brave, strong woman. You can do anything. <laughs> He's just typing. (laughs) Laura Dern's like, right, right. That's the motivation. I'm a big, strong woman. And then she goes, run. And then she does. And so now I did all this hard work. I put an hour into trying to fix the gate myself. And the gate isn't fixed. So they're still going to have to come out today. What a bummer. (laughs) (laughs) No, I was just mismanaging my time all weekend. I couldn't do anything that you did. So I will have to say that is some big, brave woman stuff. Thank you. It just felt like I did shake. Which way is my hair flowing? It's uh, a lot of ways. Okay. A few different. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much to SeatGeek for sponsoring this podcast. You all have used my code so much that SeatGeek wanted to hook everyone up with a new special offer. Everyone, not just first time users, can use our code SIP10 for 10% off any tickets on SeatGeek, whether you're a new customer or not. And that's just in time for concert season because artists like Drake, Nicki Minaj, Hoiser, Bad Bunny, and so many more are all on tour. And you know that SeatGeek is the best place to get your tickets. 
You can also get tickets to all your favorite sporting events. And you know, I'm gonna cave and go to Olivia Rodrigo with Lizzie because how can I contain myself? Like I said, no matter how many times you've bought tickets using SeatGeek before, SIP10 is going to get you 10% off your next order. So take out your phone, open the SeatGeek app, download it if you don't have it already, and add code SIP10 to your account. What are you waiting for? Do it right now because the offer is only available for a limited time. Don't forget, that's code SIP10 for 10% off any tickets. Bye. Today's podcast is sponsored by Stitch Fix, and they send styles so good that you can feel it. They deliver on all the confidence that comes from a truly amazing outfit without you personally having to do any of the work. My stylist at Stitch Fix helps take my wardrobe to the next level. She knows exactly what works for me, and most of the time, even way better than even I do myself. She helps me discover new things about my style. It's like my stylist bestie is shopping for me. I just give my stylist my size, my style, and my budget preferences. I order boxes when and how I want, no subscription required, and she sends five just for me pieces plus outfit recommendations and pro styling tips. And if you don't love something, just send it back. Shipping, returns, and exchanges are always free. Stitch Fix makes literally everything so easy, and I love when I feel good in an outfit. You know, that perfect outfit gives you your extra pep in the step, and why not take the work out of that with Stitch Fix? It's style that makes you feel as good as you look. So get started today at stitchfix.com slash sip. That's stitchfix.com slash sip stitchfix.com slash sip. Um, and then on top of that, it's fucking tax day as we're filming today, which <sighs> turned out to be very stressful for me. What a, f- what a flop of a day. My first year as a married woman. And so we had to figure out how we're filing. Yeah. And fucking nightmare. Yeah. Just a nightmare. It took three hours, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for me. Jesus. To figure all of this out. And mm, I handled mm, my tax business. Mm, I know my brother was doing both of ours and you said, what's your call time? I Yours is fine. You didn't claim any adopted children this year? No. Nope. Not that you I was know good. Of. I was a good girl. <laughs> I swear. I didn't claim any children that did not exist. Did you do your taxes, Chris? I... Okay, so I know nothing about taxes. For 10 years, my ex did my taxes for me. Before that, I don't even know. And then I had a person who I was using who I didn't feel great about and then I needed to file an extension and I've never done that and I was like someone was like oh you still need to pay but I thought the whole point of an extension was that like everything can wait a Who's month or the two. someone that said you still need to pay? Um, someone on TurboTax that was like helping me file the extension and they were like yeah you still have to pay tomorrow or today as we film this uh, otherwise your, your estimated amount? Well, yeah, just like the estimated amount. I'm like, what if it's not right? The estimated amount. They're like, well, you got to pay it. And it should come back to you if it's over, but don't pay under. And I'm like, wait, what? This is Why didn't you so just fill it all out then? Confusing. Well, because it would have taken forever, and I don't know what I'm doing what at all. Would it have taken forever? I don't know what I'm doing. No, I mean, I, I did it for three years before claiming a foster child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that ruined her entire year. <laughs> so was, I don't know if was one time. It, it was one time. <laughs> but, and, and that, to to be fair, that was a more complicated situation because I have my S Corp. Right. And that's the so problem. So if you don't have an S Corp, it's don't. very easy for you to do it in 45 minutes. Just sit down and open your bank statement. I very don't know. easy. But I, I, I ended up asking like 10 different people and all of them had different opinions on what this. What people? And the, two, one, two of them were tax people. The rest were friends. Who are you to critique? Whoever no, I'm it just, is that I'm, it's going to be. No, my point being is like if you're not talking to an expert and they're like, it's impossible. Two, why listen to that? You should probably just run into H&R two Block. Two of the people honestly, at Turbo Tax said different things. Right. <laughs> two of the people at the same company said completely different different things mine's complicated because shane and i do our finances separately we have joint accounts but we do our finances separately so we were we hadn't decided as our first year of being married if we were gonna file our personal separately because our businesses right. are different and so then when we were doing like married but filing separately so many things have to align even though they're not the same right. you both have to tick the same boxes so like my person has to deal with their per- his person mm-hmm. and it's just a big old nightmare well your clients send you these things that are like PDFs. Right. I mean, uh, I, don't... I get 1099. 10, <laughs> right. Whatever. You still get that paper, right? Yes, like yes, you yes, get yes, it from yes. him. You get it from we Shane. We could probably talk about this off air. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> but I if you don't have an S corp, you can sit down and figure it out. You just have to read the prompts and you just fill have in to the right boxes. Through, yeah. to go tax and not claim an adopted child that yeah. you don't have. <laughs> Again, that was a, no, that was an S corp. I would have done it too. I'm not saying you're stupid. I no, I mean I am stupid. I told Austin <laughs> on the phone because I hit a blackout point and then I just go whatever, bitch. Okay, 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 <laughs> until it's done. Right. And that's how you claim a foster child. You just have to not do that. And then. It, in the middle of our conversation, Austin goes, so how are you doing? And I was like, I've reached blackout point. And he's like, I met with your pregnancy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but long story short, drive over here, had a full panic attack about my taxes because I'm like, I'm going to owe. I Googled. It's like, you're going to owe 25% more for filing late and all this stuff. And I'm like, I, I can't afford 25%. More. I had a full panic attack. You just need to go into H&R Block <laughs> yeah. and sit down with them and let them do it. I don't think it's that big of a fee. Okay. <laughs> and then you'll all be fine. Well, you have to pay a TurboTax fee anyways. They're always at the end of the day like, all right, that's 150 bucks. And it's like, suck my ass what i just did this why am i giving you 150 bucks and you let me claim a foster child you monsters i also flopped on hitting my 10,000 steps did i tell you last week i am a 10,000 step curly now you told me last week but i'm not sure that you told chris I, or the audience i looked at my average and it was nine like 9,500 and i thought oh i could hit 500 more a day and my new goal is 10,000 steps a day and on the shoot of the podcast with spencer I didn't get to walk my dogs that day, oh, no. so it brought. I only got four thousand steps that day. That's I so ruined awful. my entire week. God, oh. tragedy. It does sound like your whole week is a bust now. It is. Well, we did get ten thousand steps in on a hike. Yeah. On Thursday was it? Mm -hmm. I I I came over to Ryland for a hike instead of doing our normal hike. And well, Fryman's a walk, and it takes me an hour to get to. And I always pick her Fryman up on my way. Fryman is not a walk, bitch. That's a hike. People need to take breaks and breathe. <laughs> it is not a walk. Pregnant people. No, a lot of people. <laughs> there's a slight hill at the beginning. No, there's a steep hill at the beginning. <laughs> Anyone will tell you. Your mom does it three times. I think it's fine. We do that to exhaust her little ass so that she goes to sleep at a decent hour at my house when she's visiting. I love you, Robin. But someone needs to exhaust you sometimes. Anyway, she's the Energizer Bunny. That bitch doesn't, like, I don't know what to tell you. She never rests. I'm a sleepy bitch. Yes. So I told Lizzie, we can hike, but I can't drive the two and a half hours it takes me round trip to get there. So you'd have to come to me. And she said, that's fine. I owe a trip to you. Well, now what I'm realizing is the week before when you were talking about you and your other friend who like to do these mysterious death trails, mm -hmm. I pointed out something that is very true, which is you guys are seeking death. And I didn't think about that when I embarked on this hike with you. But this was a death hike. <laughs> He took me on a literal death and march. I found the most wide in 90 open degree trail heat because I know it is rattle or sneeze season. Sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I've run onto one on my regular dog walking path, and I've run onto one in the Santa Monica Mountains. So I thought I can't get a pregnant woman bit by a rattlesnake the and have her airlifted out of here. I can't afford that. <laughs> Neither of us can. And the whole way here, I was on the phone with my aunt Pat, and I was like, "I'm just gonna say we should walk his dog walk four times. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the dog walk four times." And then he goes. I found this trail on my death seeking app. Do you want to go fuck around? And I was like, yeah, let's go fuck around. It was gorgeous. You have to admit, outside of the fact that we had to cross a hundred foot river to keep going, it was chill. To get home. This bitch goes, it's a loop. <laughs> we'll walk in the loop and it takes us back to the trail. Sometimes Do you know where the loop takes you? Through a fucking river. Hey. Through a rushing to be fair, river. Prior to January when it rained for fucking four years and flooded my house, I don't think that used to be a river. I think this is a newfound river to with be a honest, strong flow. I think it's always been a river. <laughs> the we river can was damp. It. I think the river you used to be able to hop over, subtly jump. This one we had to go knee deep. It was flowing. I just, and my whole vibe was as long as it doesn't touch my coochie, I'm fine because I'm positive if river water gets in my people coochie, my baby will get amoebas. People were fucking silly string thongs dancing around that lake they like were all nothing on drugs. was going to happen to they them. They were all on drugs. I thought, what is this place? <laughs> there was a rock pond and then the river. People were bringing blankets and laying out as if it was the Beverly Hills Hotel and there was food service. They're on drugs. <laughs> they have to be. They have I to mean, be. They're at gorgeous. least smoking the ganj. We got there and I thought, wow, it looks like we're at Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's the Beautiful. mash. It's where they shot mash. So mm -hmm. if you ever want to know what Vietnam looks like, go to this river. It's stunning. There was a rock pond. The yeah. water's cold. There were thieving squirrels 
all those people in the pond oh right also i don't think it's a pond i don't think what was it's that place called? called a rock pond it was that's what it told us we were headed to okay are you sure about that and that's where there's still water and that's where people are swimming still water is yucky right guys <laughs> Right, I wouldn't have swam in it. No, it, it was looked yucky. disgusting. Yeah, I would swim in the river that they we were, walked through. They were rock jumping, and I was positive we were going to watch someone's fucking Head shins go through their knees. <laughs> Every time someone jumped in, I was like waiting for the blood to start pooling around their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> it was giving me immense anxiety. <clears throat> and then we saw a little squirrel sneaking into some guy's backpack and taking food out of it and eating it. It's pretty cute. <laughs> pretty cute. Really like cute. they know it happens every day. But uh, Lizzie wouldn't take her socks off because she didn't want to feel the moss on the rocks Fuck at the no. bottom of the river. Yuck. So she's walking in socks <laughs> through this river because I said, I there's no way I'm going back the other way of the loop. That would have taken us another three miles. And we were just at the end where would to get to our car miles? would have taken 0.5 miles. And I was like, you really want to walk three miles over walking through this river that might be refreshing? on an 85 degree day no i did not and if it weren't for these cute swedish men that i couldn't tell if they, they were, were in a like, relationship they or were not. they were old men just for the record we weren't like talking well yeah no they were probably 45 no you're insane those <laughs> no those you're men an hater. those men were 60 especially for swedes because i think they age well because they're like healthy and happy <laughs> I would say those men were in their 60s. I would say one was in his 60s. One could have been 50s. One was interested in us. The other left. Like sprinting. And when I mean left, he was a mile down the road by the time the other guy caught up to him. Well, I was using the other guy as my canary because he went into the river first. So I was like, if he's on a good trail, I will keep his trail. But if he's on a bad trail, I'll know not to go that way. <laughs> she wouldn't follow me. I could never. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. So we had fun. You were just going with such reckless abandon. I was not sure how I was wanted to cross the tiny little log, and Lizzie said, You're going to fall. You're going to fall. I said, Film it. It was literally you a log the size of my arm. He's like, I could probably walk across this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't really have much more. I mean, <laughs> I'll talk um, about these next week after they've already happened. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it for 20 minutes right now and then let it happen again next week? Oh, we'll move on. <laughs> People are curious about your lip color. You apply in the car and um, your nail color. The, li the lip influencer. color I ap applied in the car is Summer Fridays, but I can't fully vouch for this because I believe it's like $25 if you buy it at Sephora. But if you try to buy it on Amazon, it's like 50 bucks, which is nuts. Amazon's been doing that lately. Amazon's a fucking thief ass bitch. Because it comes to your door. For another 25 bucks, go to the mall, girl. But I got this for free. And I love it, and I want to buy a new one, but I can't get behind the pricing unless I go get the $25 version. You know Sephora delivers to your house. Actually, I didn't. <laughs> it's pretty convenient. <laughs> now I know. Sometimes I order my Touch of Face cream. I don't even think it's a charge if you spend over $50. What? Yeah. <laughs> and it's same-day delivery. What? Yeah. Almost better than Amazon. But then you don't have to go to the mall. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you have Coachella FOMO? Yes, I did. I texted you all weekend. Can we go to Coachella week two? If I if you weren't carrying a child and I didn't have children, I would think about going. I raged all night last but night. I'm honestly so annoyed of opening my Instagram feed to these people. Taylor Swift <laughs> was there with Travis Kelsey. I know. And everybody was having a good time. Sabrina Carpenter's set looked so fire. The only thing I had FOMO over was missing Sabrina's set. Do we just have to go see her? I think she's the cutest person I on do the too. planet. Do I look like her? I love her style. I love that she's just this perfect little being. Yeah. She's got... Did I you love see the shirt she was wearing? Which one? Jesus was a carpenter? No. Yeah, I love that. I love her. Continue. I would really like to go see her in concert. I'll go with if you. If she has her own tour. Let's go. Okay. I'm down. I think she announced a tour. Chris, uh, could you check that? Yeah. Thank you. I love her. Um, no, that's the only thing I had FOMO about. And then, yeah, I saw Taylor Swift showed up with Travis Kelsey. And I really want to know about the logistics of that. These famous people just amongst the normies i think coachella is a place where if you have like a famous person armband you get launched into a famous person pool instead of the general admission so you can live amongst the fames oh yeah and have a nice time so it's like you're living in the famous people tent at taylor's concert mm -hmm. and there's probably still four security guards surrounding mm -hmm. her Wow. But she's getting to have like a normal life with Travis, which is so sweet. I mean, the photos you sent me, it's still everyone had their photos up just aimed at her. But everybody had their photos up for Coachella anyway. Sabrina Carpenter is currently touring across two countries and has four upcoming concerts. Where? 
We'll just look for ourselves on SeatGeek, who we love so much. Um, Okay, let's get into these cold-ass topics. They're really cold. (laughs) Great. The first one is when Oprah Winfrey gave everyone a car, which I think might have been in like 30 years ago. Or at 25 at Still least. iconic. She says it's one of the happiest moments of her life. She does say that. And she was looking back on one of those interview shows, I guess, just explaining how all of that went down since it's now a meme that has lived on and on and yeah. on and on. And I thought it was funny. You had sent this, but I was reading it and she goes... I wore red to match the bows, and thank God I did, because that dress has carried us for decades. It was honestly one of the most interesting, uninteresting articles I've ever read. Because <laughs> there's nothing in it. It's like the whole headline is, how Oprah got to be the one to give cars to people. It was a $7 million day on the show. And, and then it's like, I'm reading this to be like, how did she get there? She's like, it's because I told my people we're intention minded and we do things intentionally. Yeah, she said we were at a point in the show <laughs> yeah. where we do nothing that is not intentional. And, and I, I was thought, like, right, you should have, everyone kind of starts every day in, like that, right? I don't think so. I don't think we're coming on this podcast and talking shit about people intentionally. I think if we thought oh, about it, sat I with it, am. we'd probably be... <laughs> <laughs> I am. Why do you think I have such a fuss about the fast food part? Because I want to do everything intentionally. I won't go further into it, but I'm just saying that's an intentional thing. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize you're so upset about wanting to make the world a better place, but you're right. We can move on. Dakota Fanning. (laughs) This is another interesting headline that kind of like tickled me to the core because it was like, Tom Cruise gave Dakota Fanning her first cell phone after they did War of the Worlds together. And I have questions. Why? Did he pay for the bill? Was it, I will pay for 12 months, forevermore? Will this just be part of his plan? Because if you give somebody a cell phone... Especially like an 11-year-old. And not a cell phone bill? Yeah. You're just expecting this 11-year-old to pick up the tab every month? Can you pay my automobiles? It's a song. Okay. Okay. Have we done anything today? I don't know. I didn't realize that was going to upset you, too. (laughs) But the interesting thing about this was at the end of the article, it's like, and Kurt Russell got her a fucking horse. I also want to know the logistics of that. You know, those are the most expensive Expensive fucking things you can get someone in the world. If you bought my son a horse, I would slap you in the fucking face. So that's what I want to know. Is it a lifetime budget for these things? Yeah. Like, are you paying my horse bill? Is Tom Cruise still paying for Dakota Fanning's phone? No, but he still sends her a gift every year and she's 30 now. Where did they meet? On War of the Worlds. I said that four seconds ago. (laughs) (laughs) It's a movie. You've been on the back lot tour. Uh Uh-huh. You drive through the set on the back lot tour oh. at Universal. Where the, the airplane airplanes. crashes? Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a fun, stress-induced movie. You'd love it. Thanks. It's a lot like Spencer. Okay. The movie that oh. you loved. Oh. <laughs> this is like subtle, awkward dragging with lots of awkward pauses. <laughs> Um, Kendall Jenner models for Gucci as if she flies private. Oh, flies commercial like the rest of us. This is also old news. So Kendall Jenner is the new face of Gucci or just one of the many. She recently had an ad campaign for some of their travel essentials, which I think she looks incredible. Kendall always looks incredible. Kendall's never not looked incredible. But the internet's upset because the ad campaign takes place at a public airport. Trash. <laughs> and she only flies private. Does apparently. she? I, I feel think like she Kendall does. would catch a first class LAX flight to see her ex-boyfriend play a basketball game. I honestly don't think she ever has to because of Kim and Kylie's jets. And then the other part of it is, remember she has horrible anxiety about traveling? Oh. Like crippling anxiety about right. it. So I don't think she does. But that also doesn't matter. I also just don't care. It was That's, a cute yeah. campaign. She's running through that airport looking flawless. The yeah. Gucci bags are like stunning. I'm thinking, do I need one of yeah, those? Yeah, and who cares, dude? Like, we don't sit in this room in real life. Also, if your sister... <laughs> We've never had a conversation in this room outside of this podcast. Do you know and what yet, I mean? Here we are. Here we are. You want to see us talk? Week. Catch us at Fryman or some death trail that he's found. Uh, I also think if your sister had a private jet... 
would you go to LAX? Fuck Ask no. yourself seriously. Dude, my sister doesn't have a private jet and I would never go to LAX. <laughs> Period. We I flew LAX twice out of bare necessity. Once was when we had an emergency having to get to Colorado. Do you remember that? Oh, right. And then the other time is to get to New York because there wasn't a direct flight out of Burbank. But I am a Burbank girly through and through. There is no need for the fuss and the mess. Oh, my God. I had to drive Joe to LAX on Sunday at four fucking o'clock in the morning. Why can't he Uber? I'm pregnant. <laughs> people don't take people to LAX. <laughs> do you know what? Do you want to know something so sad about me? When I was new here, I did. That's so- that was how I made friends. It's just- I'm always like, do you need a ride? I'll come get you. I'll take it, you to LAX. It's corrupted me because my family, I feel, especially my brother gets offended if somebody doesn't pick him up from the airport. Because I think in other states, it is, if somebody is going out of their way to visit you, you go pick them up at the airport. There are a few exceptions to that, but I agree with you. And so living in LA, you just really don't do that. <laughs> no. I, I don't mean, do that I, for my own I, mother. If my grandma comes to town, I pick her up. Your mom flies into LAX. Well, she flies into Burbank, but oh. I don't even pick her up there. Oh, I'd pick your mom up from Burbank and drive her here. She's fine. I get her a Vicky, nice Vicky, call me. I'll pick your ass up. <laughs> you do get a nice Uber. If you weren't getting her a nice Uber, well, I would definitely I don't get, get the Uber Shane wants. And then Shane Shane is gets upset. I'll get my mom like the best one that isn't an Uber black. Shane goes, you're being cheap on your mom. Yeah. <laughs> like oh. Trash. Oh. <laughs> if you if if Shane's not there to protect you, Vicky, you fucking call me. I'll get you, girl. Shane's always there to protect. <laughs> I'll my pick mom. you up in the Tesla and I'll bring you some refreshments. Okay. I was talking about your mom this morning oh. to Katie. Okay. I was just talking about how sweet she is. Like she's almost like a scripted character. She's so good. Yeah. I love her. I do too. Yeah. I wish she'd be here. Chick Fil A halts donations to three groups against gay. Oh. Oh, gay marriage. Chris feels better. We're going to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Where did you see that? Is that new information or is it just I've been screaming this at you for years and you finally Googled it? No, I was Googling kind of the whole time. And there are many, many articles confirming that they've halted donations to the three main organizations that were pro gay. Uh, yeah, that were supporting gay marriage. So they- you feel comfortable going in the car with us to Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I feel better that my money's not going against my marriage. And to be well, fair, his money's I'm going to be against your marriage. Well, yeah. no, it's not anymore because they're not yeah. donating to them. Thank God we can all go enjoy each other at Chick-fil-A. Because <laughs> I honestly might lose my shit if I have to go to the Costco by your house right now. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> I'm I feel sleepy. Like, I feel like the Costco episode is a full hour long yeah. in the car. Because and we got we to do it at my it. Costco. We need to spread it. We need yeah. to try everything. You might need to come to the Costco in Burbank that doesn't make me irate yeah because like it's just costco can do this to a person even a person who loves costco but it's like your costco really makes me well should we listen to one voicemail and then head out to chick-fil-a you don't want to do all the voicemails in the car well i have this one all queued up right oh, okay. here okay unless i don't actually people were saying it was hard to hear it in the car really yeah well this isn't loading so they might hear it in the car <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go oh we turned off the roadcaster because my husband uh, fucked us <laughs> text him now we're all mad now <laughs> it's a decent hour it's twelve thirty-three. 33 lizzie can start was fights. trying to save my marriage but now she's like at eleven thirty, it's too early but it's twelve thirty now you can text that motherfucker and put him in i'll say place. something nice about my husband and then i'll drag my husband my husband Same. has been on this healthy lifestyle kick he's been making his own food he saw on instagram this older couple talking about how every night they go on fart walks after dinner and it's just this cute way to kind of go exercise after dinner but also get anything out i don't know that i would use the word cute every night he's been like should we go on a fart walk and he gets in his cute little sweatsuit he has this cute like spray painted sweatsuit Mm -hmm. that is that he farts in I mean, I don't know if we're really farting on the walk. Yeah, leave it with that next time. it's become our fart walk. So it's just a word okay, choice. Okay, so you didn't get the cute sentiment of the couple that is older and go on their fart walk every night. I mean, no. I love an old couple going for a walk every night. But if they're just ripping ass the whole time, I don't <laughs> I mean, know. Better there than hot boxing the living room. Sure. Because then it's behind you. Or is it an act of environmental terror? <laughs> oh I don't know. You're a monster. I don't know. 
<laughs> so we've been going on our fart walks. That's super cute. Helping me get to my 10K steps every day. But that motherfucker has also moved out of my room. <gasps> Where's he living? all because of my mom. <gasps> Well, when my mom oh, and my grandma and, and my aunt lived, mm-hmm. or were staying here, I let them be in my room just because it was bigger for all of them to stay and exist. And so my husband and I, my, yeah, <laughs> Shane and I, we were sleeping in his office, which is kind of the movie theater, which is just where we exist a lot of the time. But then he thought, oh, this is more comfortable than our bed. And I said, Shane, that's a fucking couch. We do not sleep on a couch. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm not sleeping on a couch. And he begs me every night to sleep on the couch in the movie theater with him. And he will not come back to our bedroom. Can you believe that? He'll outgrow it. And I thought, this is an act of violence towards our marriage. And he said, no, it's like absence makes the heart grow fonder. And he goes, I'm not doing it out of spite of you. I would love for you to sleep in here with me. And I said, the only way I'm going to sleep in this room is if we swap our bedroom and that room Mm -hmm. and put our actual bed in that room. Mm -hmm. But he says, oh no, my heart flutters in our bedroom. Like I wake up in the middle of the night and my heart's fluttering. What? I don't know. I'm starting to think, do you think there's mold in our bedroom if that's the case? No, but Shane's constantly talking about the fact that there's like a dark passenger attached to him, right? That might be (laughs) part of it. But it doesn't exist in his office? Maybe not, but the videos I've seen on Shane's channel, it might also exist in his office. You need to pray for us. (laughs) So, what about your husband? Same. Same? Yeah. You're My friend Katie was rooms? like, are you guys okay? And I was like, no, I love him and I hate him. <laughs> we don't sleep in separate rooms, but it's like sometimes he does things and I'm like, mm. I guess this is very Gwyneth Paltrow of me, honestly. What? Didn't she, isn't she the room? one that had separate houses from her spouse? That's a rich people thing. Oh. I've noticed a lot of rich people have separate houses from their spouses, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying that. I have a separate house. I have a separate no. wing. For now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We'll no, but I do love my husband. I just want to make that clear. I come on here and complain a pretty penny, but he's a good man. Hey, Ryland and Lizzie. Um, okay, so... Okay, like Chris doesn't I've been exist. dating this guy for like eight months. And recently I've bought up like going to the Cheesecake Factory with him. And I know in the past he said he had a bad experience. But when I suggested it again, he like just told me he had a bad experience and that he didn't want to go. And I told him like, hey, you'll be okay. Like, I'll be with you. And then like we went back and forth and back and forth. And eventually he told me that like he took his ex there and he realized that she was a mistake. And that uh, he just didn't want to go because it reminded me, it reminded her, ugh, it reminded him of her. And that really just upset me because it's like, is he dwelling in the past? Like, why is he not wanting to go to this place with me? Um, It just like really hurt me. But we went back and forth and then he eventually was like, I don't understand why you can't just like respect my boundaries and not want to go here. But me personally, I feel like it's a shitty excuse. But yeah, am I in the wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Thoughts? I'm waiting on yours. Why? (laughs) I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. (gasps) No. If Cheesecake Factory was my favorite restaurant and my significant other wouldn't take me there, I would be fucking pissed. (laughs) And don't just say this if you think Cheesecake Factory is icky because that's this thing, right? Haven't we talked about that on this show where people are like, you can't take a date to Cheesecake Factory. Grow up. (laughs) I I do think it's yucky. Why? And because it is. And I'm also going to say... I don't even know if I like you anymore. Ah, That's fine. How is it yucky? It's just yucky. They make all their food fresh. No, they don't. They do. I mean, My manager I, worked there for several years uh, ran it. By fresh, do you mean like they take it out of a plastic bag in the freezer? And no, then pour that's it? very oh, inaccurate. They, they have prep chefs. They have chefs that come in, sous chefs, mm-hmm. solely to chop things up. Chefs that cook it. Chefs that make the sauces. All at like four in the morning. Take Cheesecake Factory out of this. Honest to God. Take I worked, che- at, on, I on, worked on, at Press on. Juice for a long time. And they were like, we make all these juices fresh every day. We have one kitchen and we deliver it to seven states. No, the fuck you don't make that juice fresh every day. No, the fuck there is not a sous but, chef but at she 4 a.m. Okay. She was there. You she guys, worked we're there. getting derailed. The point is, your favorite restaurant in the entire world, yes. Joe won't take you there. Yeah, I... Because he's had a bad experience with some other fucking bitch. <laughs> and now she's ruined your favorite restaurant with your favorite man who you want to go have a good time and giggle with over a meal. I, I just, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I really don't. I'm gagged. Especially because, like, I mean, I've had negative experiences with people that ruin things for me. 
Like, there's not things that you can't... Well, you've never really had, like, a serious relationship that oh, could ruin something. Uh, drag me. Is it a drag or is it the yeah, truth? It's that one. Okay. Oh. No, I'm just saying. Is it a... I'm, uh, I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying you could go to a different location. It doesn't have to be the same Cheesecake Factory. Which is fair, but it's like a Forrest Gump is a Forrest Gump. Do you know what I mean? A Cheesecake Factory is a Cheesecake Factory. I know, but if she wants factory. to go to Cheesecake Factory, take her to Cheesecake Factory. I mean, she can still go to Cheesecake Factory. She wants to go with her man. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I do. Okay. <laughs> We're in the Stay same Stay mad, girly. We're in the same fight. Her Fuck her. those eight months. <laughs> you know what? Burn it to the ground. We're in the same fight her and her partner are in. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy that you can't see my side. No, I get it. It's a bummer. But it's like you can I, you don't need to be like so livid that you insist somebody do something that makes them uncomfortable to be less livid. Like that's what that's what bumps me. And you know what I think my solution would be? I'd call my bestie girl Liz uh -huh. and we'd go to Cheesecake Factory. Exactly. Call your friends, girl. Get dressed up. Rent a limo. Like we're 16 again. Go I celebrate. I think it's more of the principle, though. I can't see getting stuck on being like, oh, I so want to do this with you and him just saying no. And then it becomes more of why? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely an odd thing for him to want to <laughs> die on the hill of. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely think it's weird as fuck that he's so traumatized by this bitch that he cannot go to a cheesecake factory when there's a laundry list of other reasons to just not go to a fucking cheesecake factory. Chris, if your man wouldn't take you to cheesecake factory because his ex went with him him and dumped him what would you do i mean i i'm just kind of torn because i understand the reason of like the associating it with your ex and that not feeling good to be there so i very much understand from that reason but selfishly i love cheesecake can we not rewrite and i would past? be devastated if i couldn't go there can anymore, we not create new it. memories i mean i definitely think it's an odd thing to be hung up on on the boyfriend's part but on the girlfriend's part like if you like this guy or maybe this is his red flag I like your idea of go with friends, though. Yeah. I just think places like, yes, I haven't had a long-term relationship, but for example, we had a lot of traumatic things happen in this house for us. For a while, it did not feel great to be mm -hmm. here and be constantly reminded that of that all the time. Mm -hmm. We changed out the furniture. We redecorated. Oh, and we can't see that. Hold on one second. And uh, we like took a little bit of space from it and then created new memories. And I love this house now more than ever. Yeah. So get him to Cheesecake Factory. What was that saying, Chris? <laughs> it was just my boss who worked there confirming. Oh, you've uh, already texted him? Her. She's hey. already gotten back to you. Yeah. So Chris texted his former Cheesecake Factory boss. Hello, random, but my friends don't believe that there are chefs who make the food fresh at the Cheesecake Factory. You worked there and said they do, right? Yes, every morning, prep cooks make all the stuff and portion it out, even the sauces. Then the line cooks cook it in its when it's ordered. That sounds like it's pre-made. Okay, well, whatever. We'll see you guys in the car. I would like a follow-up question where you say, what's the stuff? <laughs> say, what is the stuff? Elizabeth? No, I'm so serious. <laughs> She's where, Where's oh, safe for you to eat? I have to pee so bad, I'm gonna No, explore. we can eat anywhere. No, I don't no, 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 give a no, no. fuck. I'm just saying. I want to know what the stuff but is. But don't you think most restaurants, like when you and I go to the Nimi's Cafe, don't you think they're probably pulling some of that salmon out of the freezer? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm not knocking it. I'm just also not lying about it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just not going to pretend. I'm like, very fearful around Gwyneth Paltrow and his wife. I'm Elizabeth. not. I'm literally not knocking it, but I don't know why we have to lie about something. Okay, I just have to pee so bad. Okay, bye. Truths. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that means something Let's to you. Let's go play swords. <laughs> Do you think we were both dead inside today? <laughs> no, you were nasty though. <laughs> <laughs> At which part? At, at least three parts. At least three. <laughs> But they're all going to hate me for it because they don't like me anymore. So you're fine. <laughs> what do you mean? We're still know. rolling. This is like a hidden camera. <laughs> <laughs> I've always struggled with finding time or interest to manage my finances. At the end of a busy week, the last thing I want to do is figure out a budget or all of my expenses and track down customer service teams to cancel old subscriptions I no longer use. But now I use Rocket Money and it does all that for me. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you find and cancel your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a very 
very clear view of my expenses. I can see all my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with just a few taps. Their dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month, so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help you create a custom budget and help you keep your spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They deal with the customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Seriously, I can't say enough great things about Rocket Money. It alerts me when there's a big transaction. It notifies me of any changes to my credit score. And I'm such a visual person that I actually spend less just looking at everything constantly. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash sip. That's rocketmoney.com slash sip. Rocketmoney.com slash sip. Are we rolling? Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, we have a really big update. Hold one, on. One, take three, Mark. Elizabeth? Yeah? Let us know your update, Mama. So what had happened was I was very clear about not <laughs> having enough information to make a fully formed opinion <laughs> about whether or not Cheesecake Factory has fresh food. <laughs> and now is a fully formed registered voter citizen of Los Angeles County, I can confirm that perhaps oh, it perhaps. is more probable oh, that the Cheesecake Factory is in fact making their meals fresh daily as of 2005. That's a long no, no, ass time. That is the like 20 fucking years okay, ago, no, Chris. The article sorry, I sent was sorry, recent. Me. Who knows what we're ordering? I can't I order do. this. I do. Calm your ass okay. down. So you're going to talk to this polite man that definitely isn't homophobic. Yeah. The article is from 2023 that I sent. But also, she, he got confirmation. He, as of 2025. <laughs> okay. I wish you well, Elizabeth. Thank you. Article is 2023. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name for the order? Yeah, Ryan. All right. How may I serve you guys today? Um, can we please get two fried chicken patties? Okay. Can you get them individually? Uh, yeah. Can we do that? So you, you can just get, you mean like the, the, the filet? Yes. yes. Yeah. Could we get two of those and one grilled? Seems like you've got this handle. Two handled. regular filets, one grilled filet? Yes. Okay. That's the only one I know. Anything else? Um, I think we actually want the grilled chicken sandwich. As well, or uh, instead of a fillet? No, because okay. the, we want to the make buns. the sandwich. We take the bun off, and we put, but we don't want just chicken between chicken. Okay, all right. Okay. So okay. you want the grilled sandwich instead? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I have the secret menu ice cream cookie? Uh, do you have an ice cream cookie? So or are you? Do, you have to play it. Is cool? there an ice cream cookie? So it's not really a secret menu item. You just kind of like buy a cookie and an ice cream cup, and you just crumble it up. I knew we yourself. were gonna have to do the work. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. Right. Or should we get two and put the ice cream in between the cookies? I love that for us. Let's get two cookies. Anything else for you? Yes. Can we please get a 10-piece chicken nugget? Uh, we have a 8 or 12, though. Let's do, go with the 12. Whoa. Crazy. And then can we get a side of waffle fries, please? One medium fry. Yes, sir. Okay. A mixed, I'm sorry, uh, mac and cheese. One medium mac and cheese. All right. And then can we get a Chick-fil-A sauce? Okay. A Polynesian sauce. And some ranch. And ranch, all right. And then, do you so just have like a clear, like big... Salad bowl? Yeah. Yeah, you can purchase them for like 27 cents. Oh, I, brought, yeah. I brought that. Oh, never mind. Or we can get the salad bowl, that's fine. Yeah, salad yeah. 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 Okay. Um, can we get a small of this cherry berry frosted lemonade? <laughs> okay. Um, and anything else for you? Do you have dill pickle chips? One more time. Dill pickle chips? We don't have any pickled chips. Okay. Uh, we have a team member collecting payments ahead, 5561, okay? Perfect. Enjoy Thank guys. you. Thank you. Have a good day. If we want, you too. If you want something to actually eat after as well, we can go back through, but I can't do that kind of confusing where we're trying to sort. To be completely honest, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to eat this. Well, what if Chris wanted a sandwich? Oh, wasn't considering that. My bad, Chris. <laughs> But Lizzie, look, the article I sent you was 2023. I heard you. That's okay. great. Okay, so, so anyways, there was an article that said they make fresh food, and Chris's friend that used to be a manager there yeah. also yeah. confirmed that they make fresh food. So it's fresh food. That girl needs to get her boyfriend there or dump his ass. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just I say dump his ass. It is fresh food. If he can't get over his trauma from his last girlfriend unless she did something really fucked up, we want to know what she did to him. Or is she still there, and are they still dating, and is that what he's hiding? He's afraid 
that they're no, going to run into her. I don't her. think we should do, bump into my speculation on this, guys. I'm being toxic. I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did bring a wallet. Oh, hey. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry. this man has great hair. Oops. Uh, was it for uh, Ryan? Yes. Ryan. Just... Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. At the window, can we also ask for, like, water? Yeah. I also just have to say, it makes such a big difference talking to the employees face-to-face. -face. Yeah. Because when you're talking through the screen, I'm always the asshole. Always. You know? Yeah. But when you can see them and they can see your struggle, yeah, they have they a little know. more empathy for you. They're like, oh, help this poor man. He's hungry. <laughs> and are you kidding? It's a gorgeous drive through I hate to be such a stan, but I'm like a really big stan. <laughs> We're literally behind a Texas don't tread on me license plate oh with a rattlesnake God. on it. That's the don't tread on me flag uh, of Texas. That's a Texas flag? It has a uh, rattlesnake on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very famous image. Cool. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I'm still nervous. I still don't know if I want to eat. <laughs> if you don't want to eat it, Chris, <laughs> you don't have to. I won't force you. You can make a statement in the back. You can yeah. say, I'm bigger and better than this. Just for, not for nothing, but this feels like a double standard. What? I have a morality issue. He has a morality issue. You I'm have a contract have... with the show where you're the co host. That's expired. Well. <laughs> And who somebody might not be renewing it if you don't eat this fucking food. I hope that when you read how nasty the comments are this week, you feel bad about this moment. But I'm gonna walk away with it and not read any of them. I think we were both low energy and we could have over we underperformed this week. If I graded us, I would say C. I think I'm in a great mood. I don't know that if I was a first time <laughs> listener that I would come back to this show. Oh. You said but that we're every turning week. <laughs> No, I don't. I, the last three weeks I've thought we've had excellent performance. <laughs> But this Chick-fil-A is really turning this episode around. <laughs> I'm so fucking lit for this Chick-fil-A, it's absolutely absurd. Oh, and, oh wow. Oh, this is... Hi, for Hello. Ryan. Yes. Ryan. It's clean in there. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems like a gay man's managing this place. It's it does. Everyone's happy. Spotless. Yeah. Shirts are tucked in. You can see into the kitchen. They're not hiding anything. Nipples are concealed. Uniforms wow. are clean, pressed. Ice even. cream is thick. I'm drooling. Tea looks. <laughs> I'm right. about to vomit. I want to be excited. Thank you. Oh shoot. Oh, give me, give me, give me. Thank um, you. Oh, I'll wait, ask. Thank you. Can I get a couple of waters? A couple of waters? Yeah. Three? Yeah, please. So technically, is there a straw? Three you just double is check? a few. Just ask for it. I can't bend over. <laughs> Wow, so this is seasonal. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh, it's to keep it cold. <gasps> this is like an insulated sleeve. My clit's hard. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing that's ever happened from a fast food restaurant to me. It's not gonna melt right away because it's Can insulated. I put my finger in it? There, well, no, because we Chris has to have the first sip. Is Chris sipping? Oh, I don't, I don't, are you I sipping don't know. it? I'm torn. <laughs> I'm not gonna put my germs in it, but you're gonna have to do that first uh, if you want. Because... But I also can't have milk right now. Stop. Oh, then he's out. So then he, have then it. you're Let out. Let me put my dick yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we Let, get a straw? My dick's hard. Let's put it in. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for being this way. Can you just put this I'm back torn. there? That's okay. I don't mind, Chris. I'm I'm honored you're in the car with us. I was like, if you need to see yourself out before we do this, that's fine. I, I feel much better knowing that the money's not going to bad things. Yeah, you you're ask like for ranch. I feel way better. You're still not gelling with the owner, but that's fine. Right, right. the owner, and I read that they still don't have protections for the gay employees, which makes me feel weird. But ask, I'm like, what? Ask for ranch. Thank. Uh, can I get one thing of ranch? I'm so sorry. And a straw. Could I give you the water, Chris? Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a nice day. You too. What kind of protections do gays need at work? That's uh, different from other protections. Discriminatory. You can get fired just for being gay or trans. And a, a I lot don't of think you can. You my that. neighbor, you can though, my um, neighbor, though, was a manager was... of a location in a pretty high up position, and he's—I mean, you know, he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> like they know he's gay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's because federally, the due process clause doesn't protect gay people because you can't identify it upon sight. Let's think uh -huh. later and eat now. <laughs> We're starting with this strawberry frosted lemonade, I believe it. Oh, sorry. It does look good. Mmm. That fucks. <laughs> what is this? You know what this reminds me of? Sorry. 
What is it? Gleeked. That's how good it is. What is it? It's like not. Is it ice cream? That. What is it? I think it's ice cream mixed with raspberry lemonade. But this reminds me of that pink berry that we fucking love, the Barbie pink berry. The exact flavor <gasps> profile. Oh, okay, I did love that. It's so like it. the texture's incredible and the flavor is nice. Mm. It hits right. That, <laughs> that I want to do nasty things to. If you are out and about on a hot summer day, fuck this up. You need to stick your dick in this. <laughs> you need to get your dick. And How would stick that it. feel? Probably great, dude. Something freezing cold. I bet this cold. would feel good on everybody. It's part. like cold plunging your penis. I could drip my nipples in it and my pussy. <laughs> And my dad's listening. I love when we have fun together. This is a great time. Wow. Mm. It's like I forgot what fun with you was. <laughs> Do you want me to make the fucking mix up? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so this is a viral TikTok hack I found. You get their salad bowl, you get some fries. Pour those in. This is so incredible. <laughs> wow. Is it, as, is it better than the Barbie pink? Honestly, it might be. Whoa. 12 pack of chicken nugs. All of them? Yep. Wow. Medium. I feel like I need better lighting. <laughs> Who would it be if I didn't? Oh my gosh. Oh, first just show the crisp on the top of this mac and oh, cheese. Oh, the smell of that mac and cheese. <laughs> Ooh, that Whoa. smell. I mean, look at the crisp on top of no, that. No, it looks good. Two very familiar smells in this world. If I went like this to you, you're gay, but you know what I'm having you sniff. <laughs> what? Pussy. <laughs> this pussy and Chick-fil-A mac and cheese, distinct smells, and they're beautiful. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? I backed up one second. Now drop that shit in this little tub. Mm, all of it? Oh, oh. yep. Oh, there you go. I see what's happening here. Oh, fuck. The cheese pulls. Oh, higher, higher. Are you kidding the me? The steam. <laughs> God damn. Oh! Mm, nope. Okay. We do need better lighting. Here we go. I'm going to put some of the fries on top oh, of no, the Oh, no, you chi need Chick-fil-A sauce, too. I know, I know, but okay. I'm putting some of the fries on top before I pour the sauce in, just to make sure they get real sauced up. If I were to remake this bowl, I would have started with the chicken, then done the mac, then thrown the fries. Oh, that says do not enter. Who cares? We're finding lighting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm. If this is incredible, do you think they're going to make it a, a thing here? This? No, it is. I've heard it is incredible, and it's been a thing. No, uh, like on the menu, you know what I mean? Well, they probably um, love that everyone order it. I bet it's more expensive to yeah. order uh, each piece individually. So now I'm putting in the Polynesian sauce. Oh, I don't know that Ooh. I've had their Polynesian sauce before. Ooh, yes. <laughs> it's giving orange dream. <laughs> Ember is the color <gasps> of its energy. Oh my God. Do we need to make this ice cream sandwich first before this melts? Yep, do it up, Daddy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Now I'm going to add the well, Chick-fil-A sauce. We're doing the secret menu, Chris. That's yeah. why it's... Oh, this... no, these are patties. Oh. In and out the secret menu, you don't have to do any work. Here's the cookies. <gasps> okay, I wonder if there's... Then I add in the Chick-fil-A sauce. I have one more step, so I just figured I should continue my... Really? Oh, shit, the Chick-fil-A sauce, gelatinous. She's thick. She's thick, Chris. <laughs> Good addition, buddy. <laughs> She thick, thick. The cookies. Then last but not least, the garden herb is ranch. Is there another spoon in there like that? Yeah, there is. Fuck. So, are those oatmeal chocolate cookies? They look like they have a nut in them. And normally I'm not a nut lover in a chocolate chip <gasps> cookie. Oh, but he does love, love nuts. It. You can't have dairy though? I love a nut. I can't have dairy right now. Uh, when does Until that... next, the next week, late next week, it'll finally be done and I can eat things again. I'm sorry. Mm. Dropping the ranch up in this bitch. Is Ooh, there ice cream, wait. a custard and not an ice cream? I wouldn't know the difference. Oh, I don't like a custard. Can I taste it? Put, it's put a so spoon good. In my Just take a lick. <laughs> it doesn't look like custard. Oh shit. But it's not like ice cream. It, what is it? It's like soft serve. Oh, I love soft serve. <laughs> Damn. It's very granulated though. Like you can see the... Damn, Maybe Daniel. Oh, son of a bitch. What? I didn't get a top to this. Uh, to shake oh, it? Oh, yes I did. I'm dumb as hell. Oh. <laughs> I was like, there goes the whole experience. Let me get ready to drag these employees across the fucking train tracks. <laughs> that w couldn't have been nicer. And now, <laughs> you shake it. Oh no, oh no. Can you get that? Can you get me the bin? No, I'm gonna eat it over that thing. Oh no, it's sliding. Hold it tight, Daddy. Two-hander. Okay. Um. So according to their website, it's ice dream, not <gasps> ice cream, and it's made with non-fat milk and milk fat, so the ice cream doesn't have any cream at all and very little fat overall. 
Isn't that the best thing you've ever put in your mouth? <laughs> Incredible. My God. I do have to say, like, I'm not a person that, like, spl splurges on fast food often. I know on this podcast we try a lot of things, but for, like, meals. Yeah. Um, that is good. Mm. I think that's an oatmeal chocolate cookie for sure. I don't think those are nuts. Mm. Oh, like, damn, we didn't get any water, did we? No, yeah, we did. Yeah, there's back here. It was like bringing me closer to God. <laughs> Ironic, really huh? Experience. Yeah. But that's what they want. Like, if it's a Friday... We, we came agnostic and we're leaving Christian. Way to go, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> if it was a Friday night, though, and I'm going to, like, order me some fast food, it is <clears throat> a spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Mm. For real? Yeah. No, I, I love <laughs> that. A medium fry and some Chick-fil-A sauce. Because you just like chicken? Honestly, mm. I never really fuck around with Chick-fil-A. Really? Yeah, like I've had their grilled nuggets and that's about it. What's wrong with their <clears throat> normal nuggets? Mm. I get one of those to put in my fridge and eat the next day. That's <laughs> <get> cold. <laughs> Look at these TikTokers coming out. Are you sure they're TikTokers? I mean, they definitely have a TikTok account where they wiggle their dicks. Oh my God, is that Bryce Hall? That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Wow. Do you smell that? So this is the iconic TikTok bowl. Should we ask those boys if they recognize it? <laughs> uh, are you going to give us forks? Why do I feel no. like they would bully I'm going to give you a fork, though. <laughs> do you want any of this, Chris? He can't have this because it has dairy in it. This does? Yes. And mac and cheese. Is there anything that ranch. doesn't have dairy? No, everything so. that's good in this oh. life. Well, convenient. <laughs> it worked out. Convenient, Chris. <laughs> Okay, try to get a little bit of everything. Do you have a fry on there? I have a fry, a piece of macaroni and cheese, a chicken nugget. Am I missing anything? Sounds like everything. <laughs> Come on, cheers, mama. Oh, Ugh. your bite it's is nothing in comparison to mine. Mm. 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 Honestly, I could go without the Polynesian sauce. I thought that was a bold move. Mm -hmm. I thought the Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce was enough. I thought the yeah. ranch would have been solid. Yeah, the three. Is. But I honestly am into it. Mm -hmm. I still like it a lot. I'm a purist with this mac. Mm. That's the thing. All of these are so good individually. You don't need you to don't, put them in a tub. No, you can enjoy all of them separately and be just happy. To be honest, this tub ruined it. Mm. <laughs> uh, I don't think it ruined it. I would eat this and then be sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because those sauces... It's a lot of sauce. And the sauces here are so many calories. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. They also, you don't need the Polynesian sauce in this. Just the ranch, I would say. Mm. Mm. The Polynesian brings a little bit of sweetness, though. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah, you're not like a sweet lover. Mm-mm. I'm more of a salty person, too. I think I'm with you on that. I love it. Here you go. <laughs> it's very good. It tastes it a lot good. like Thousand Island. Oh. For our next secret menu item. Oh my god, I forgot we had more. We are going to encapsulate. Sure. I didn't know you could just get the patties. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm hmm So we, we got a regular burger. Or no, a grilled chicken sandwich. And what we're going to do is just take off the buns and replace them with fried chicken, chicken patties. Oh, like um... So it's like a fried chicken yeah. chicken sandwich. Oh! Like the pink KFC, you need to take a thumbnail with that. <laughs> that is gorge. It's actually burning the fuck out of my fingers. No. <laughs> oh, they're all... Hold on, sorry. Oh, now, God. this is a little too bold for me. I'm not going to lie. It's... I think... It's so hot. How did it go? Are you okay? It's delicious. Is it is hot it? as fuck? I'd be sick. My fingers are burning from holding that. How is that in your mouth? Like, I had a panic feeling of that hot that was. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, I'm good. This is something. It's too much for me. Would Why? you get it again? No. <laughs> Why is it too much for you? It's three patties this of chicken. This is so hot. How are you holding it? Just take a bite. It's not, it doesn't burn your mouth. It's not hot enough to it's burn your mouth. It's burning my fucking fingers. Right now. Um, cold water dish. if you need it. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, they insulate this too. That is cool, the, that their drinks are insulated is very cool. I will say that. Wow, you know what? All you really need is that chicken patty. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is so interesting. Oh, it's hot, brother. 
I don't think it's that hot. <laughs> I don't think you got a bite. <laughs> wow. Mm. We just tore up that menu. Fuck it up. We really did the thing. Mm. Some more mac and cheese. See, this is... One wait. to ten. What would you give it? The bowl? Yeah. Mm. A six. I would say a seven. I like all the ingredients, but I would rather just eat the nuggets and dip them in sauce. Eat the mac and cheese by itself. Yeah. Eat the fries with some sauce. It's good. The Polynesian and the Chick-fil-A sauce together ruin it for me. It's 2000 Islandy. It's not bad, but it's not good. I hear you. I'm not a big fan of the end of the potato fries at Chick-fil-A. I will say that. No, no one likes a spuddy butt. <laughs> <laughs> I want the regular. Mm -hmm. That guy was so patient with us as well. I would give this chicken sandwich a 9 out of 10. The way it is? Yeah. It's not too bold for you? No. Well, you are a chicken girl through and through. Which is funny because, like, I'm fucking not. Like, I'm like, chicken, what's your deal? You're sus as fuck. Mm. I don't trust you alone with my man. But this is burning the shit out of my fingers, and I love it. Well, I'm sorry, Chris. No, it's okay. There's oh, nothing for you here. This yeah. doesn't have... <laughs> <laughs> the most intense thing that's ever happened. There's no dairy in this, Chris. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it because you're disgusted now? <laughs> you can tell me. We talked our way out of it. You guys got too political for me too, and then I was like, let's just eat. <laughs> this needs pickles. This needs pickles. Mm. Anyway. I this, guess I like the bowl. Yeah, obviously you do. Obviously. <laughs> this fucks. The cookie sandwich fucks. The seasonal <laughs> frozen lemonade fucks. fucks. <laughs> My experience here today, 10 out of 10. As a gay man, they treated you like any other person. Royalty. <laughs> I would say royalty. I would say they rolled out the red carpet. They treat everyone like that. I had to buy this for a production one time. And buying shit for a production, if you've ever done that, is a nightmare. It's like buying food for 30 fucking people. And you have to make sure every order is done correctly. They went through the entire thing with me with a smile on their face and helped me to my fucking minivan. Their customer service is something that's, like, notable. Because we've been, we had so many bad experiences with, mm -hmm. like, what was the pizza place? A little Caesars. A little Caesars. And it, <laughs> and it is like... Chick-fil-A's pleasure. Even if you're fat. <laughs> oh, uh... A uh, gay man. Why is there customer service? So Even if you're what? I was going to say the F word, but I realized that gets monetized. <laughs> that gets you demonetized on YouTube. Mm. Mm. Well, wow. That wow. girl has her tits out. Hi, girl. Damn, it's she hot. does. It's wow. a hot day. It's hot day, hot day. Good for her with her dog. And, whoa. She got a dog? <gasps> what kind of dog? That's the thing. She even has me looking at her tits. And she's got a milkshake. <laughs> I feel like inappropriate. You she's know? got a fancy dog. But she wants me to see them, doesn't she? She wants a lot of see them. Oh, that dog is so cute. Wow. I think that's a Malinois. Wow. Well, well, that just, that burp took me out of my game. I'm going to put this sandwich down. <laughs> okay. And that's the sip. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has brought to light Bad some news, information <laughs> so, that Chick-fil-A is fast food. Well, it has 50 ingredients in their chicken sandwich, which is 20 more than Popeye's chicken sandwich. And Popeye's and, chicken sandwich fucks. And 40 of the ingredients are synthetic chemicals and additives with no health purposes. And all. then, Ryland, what did you say about MSG? Oh, I was saying, we watched the second version of Super Size Me, which he, he did all about chicken. And they're talking about, what's this car gonna do? MSG being addictive? Um, just how everyone loads their food with MSG, which essentially oh. opens up your taste buds um, to make you not feel full while you're eating it. And it has this addictive quality that makes you uh, want to have it all the time. It's like the craveability a aspect of the food. For me, I just know that all fast foods bad yeah so if you're gonna put it in your body i just like put my blinders on and be like i only do this every so often is in and out that's why i like my heroin with blinders is in and out healthier or am i lying to myself oh, yeah google it because i believe that they're healthy but i don't know or but, tune in next week we'll go to in and out and figure it out <laughs> oh we could go back to in and out it's been a while i gotta stop eating this cookie but it's so fucking good so good <laughs> it's a cookie it's all bad for us everywhere we go the camera's going wild bye <laughs> We could watch that. I mean, are they something I need to watch right now? Yeah.
You looked so beautiful last night. Thank you. I had a hard on for you. <laughs> <gasps> Finally. What the one market? That outfit really did wonders for you. You know what I'm saying? Can I you get off your phone. I'm texting Sandy Yaw. And for the first time ever, Elizabeth just told us to shut up, and she didn't want to hear from us. Until well, I don't. We're rolling on the podcast, so I said, "Fine, Chris, roll." To be honest, it's because I did not Care. do. No, I have no hot <laughs> topics. I saw a few. No, you maybe saw one. Uh, yeah, they were. Uh, I clicked on them, and I was like, "So what's the I don't know. Point? I don't know. Don't worry, we have Kendall Jenner from last week. That's super ice cold tea. It's Kendall Jenner from three <laughs> weeks ago, but I am a miggity mess. Uh, if you're sick right now, you need to leave. I'm not sick. I'm exhausted. Okay. I hope that's all that coarse voice is. I was screaming my lungs out all night. If I get two sick babies because of you. I was screaming my lungs out all night. You will be over here around the clock. Caring for them. and the kids. Well, then I'm bringing my dogs. That's (laughs) something you have to work out with them. I don't mind your dogs. Your dogs mind my house. (laughs) Um, I think my dogs mind your dogs. You look good today, too. I've got myself together. Pregnancy is really working on you. I don't know that that's true. I think um, it is. Look at her last night. I'll enter a photo here. I thought, your husband better be careful or some man is going to try to swoop up you and that baby and give you a good life. Is your mic on? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. It doesn't sound like it is. You're right. This whole time you couldn't hear me? No, your mic's not on. Oh.